In the last video, I showed you how you can refine your songs. In this video, we'll start prompts correctly right from the beginning so that your songs come out just the way you want them with fewer generations. We'll start with a general song and we'll get more specific as we go along. Okay, let's get going. So we're at suno.com. Go over to the left hand side and click on create. If your screen looks like mine, Go up to the top of the page and click on Custom. The only thing we want open right now is the song description box. All right. We don't have instrumental checked. Okay. And right above instrumental, we want to make sure we're using version 3.5. Now in the song description box, you can see that they have a plain language description, a heartfelt reggae song about dancing all night long. So they have heartfelt, right? Gives a mood or a style, heartfelt reggae song, which is a genre, and then what the song is about. So let's say we want a sad breakup song. We could put that in. Both of those are fairly broad though. When you really think about it, a sad breakup song. Sad means different things to different people, especially when you're talking about music. So instead of sad, some people might hear that as depressed, or angry or melancholy. I'm going to pick melancholy. All right. So let's put that in. Breakup. Well, are you sad because somebody broke up with you? Or did you break up with them? You know, you, this is just a song starter. So you may not have thought about that, but pick one. Let's just start there. I'm going to say I broke up with them and I miss them. Okay. That would make me feel like um, I regret that I break up with them. And what about the style? So let me think about the style that I generally can work in. I can make indie folk songs pretty well. So I'm just going to put indie folk song in. Your answer might be different. So let me put in indie folk. And I'll put that where I put song. So, so now it says melancholic indie folk song about regret and missing someone. That's a lot more specific than sad breakup song. So what else do I want to put in here? It's indie folk. So the main instruments are usually guitar, right? So let's put guitar and I want it to be an acoustic guitar. Okay. So melancholic indie folk acoustic guitar song about regret and missing somebody. That's pretty specific. I'll hit create. So the goal here is to generate something that I can use for a song starter, but have a really good idea where I'm going to go with the song. So let's listen. Place. Once we walked where rivers bend, promises we never end. But currents changed, the tides withdrew, left with whispers missing you. All that's left is a haunting sight. Threads of memories hanging high Regret fills the air tonight Wishing I could make it right By the window where moonlight creeps Let's go ahead and hear the second version. In a dim Light of evenings fall Shadows dance across the empty hall Echoes of your laughter's trace Lost in time, this silent place Once we walked where rivers bend Promises we never end But currents change, the tides withdrew Left with whispers missing you All that's left so haunting sigh Threads of memories hanging high Regret fills the air tonight Wishing I could make it right By the window where So between those two examples, you might have one that you really like, or you might want to keep both. I'm going to give them both a thumbs up. So those worked pretty well. 
And now I'm going to show you something else. Go up to the top and click on custom. So that's this button right here. And now in this section, we can generate lyrics and style of music, as well as some other details. And what we're going to focus on right here is a style of music box. There's a certain way to enter the prompts when you're working in this section, rather than on the other page that we just left. I want synth-based pop, so that would actually be more like a dreamy or a psychedelic synth wave. Something like ethereal pads and punchy drums and vocals with a lot of reverb. All right, so let me go ahead and enter this. The first thing I'm going to type in is the genre, okay? If you noticed, I put the genre in in all caps. And that's really important when you're working in this box, okay? Now let's go ahead and do what we did before. We have ethereal pads, and those are an instrument, and those are a specific style element. So those let's put in with lowercase. So I went ahead and put everything in. We have dreamy synthwave in all caps, and then ethereal pads, punchy drums, reverb soaked vocals, all in lowercase. And that's because it understands that the capitalization is indicating certain elements. Uppercase tells Suno to prioritize the genre and style, and lowercase tells it that they're elements like instrumentation. We don't have any lyrics for the song yet, so let's go ahead and shut the lyrics off and just click instrument. Once we click instrument, it'll close the lyric box. You could see it still says style of music. Enter a title and we'll just put title in the title box. Let's hit create. track. Let's check out the other one. So both of those tracks sounded pretty good. All right, so you might be wondering why I put reverb soaked vocals in the style of music box, but we don't have any lyrics. And that's because I like to generate the instrumentals and see if Suno's in the ballpark of what I wanna work with. If I know it's understanding the style, I'll go ahead and give it a thumbs up on the tracks that I like, okay? So let's do that. And let's go back over to this style of music box. Uncheck the instrumental box and the lyric section is going to pop back up. Let's try a different style and that's, um, let's try a modern country song, okay? Now, again, the format is the genre in all caps and then the mood or style of the song, the instrumentation, the vocal style, and the lyrical theme. That's what we did in the last one and it worked pretty well. So let's do it in this one. We'll put the genre in all caps. So let's put modern country. Let's get it anthemic, okay? Like what's on the radio and uplifting, all right? So let's think of some instrumentation. Twangy guitars, it's a pretty steady beat. For the vocals, let's do a warm vocal. And then let's think of a theme, right? Is there a lyric of theme? Because we aren't putting lyrics in. So we have to tell it what kind of a theme we want and we want it to be uh, chasing dreams in a small town. Uh, that's kind of nostalgic. Let's put that there, nostalgia. 
we're going to put in the sections of the song that we want it to generate so that it's following like a radio format, okay? So first make a bracket and then put verse one. And we want a pre-chorus. We want the chorus to be really big, right? Okay, so let's put a big hook. Let's see, verse two, a bridge, and a final chorus. So that's the basics. But again, we want to give it some more instruction, right? The more specific, the better in most cases. We want to add emotional depth in the bridge. And then we want the final chorus to be really big and really strong. We want the first letter to be capitalized, so let me go fix that. So now we have verse one, pre-chorus, chorus with a big hook, verse two, bridge, adding emotional depth, and final chorus is bigger and stronger. Let's give it a couple of more instructions. What do we want the pre-chorus to do? Do we want it to get quieter so that the chorus seems like it really pops, or do we want to steadily add? And I'm going to think we want it to get more intense, so let's put that in, okay? Do we have anything else we need to put in there? Uh, we want verse two to add more details, okay? Let's see if that works. All right, so now we have a good basic song structure in there. What we're doing in Suno is reflective of what you would do when you're writing a song without uh, an extra tool like this. And these are the last two we can generate with my free account today. Generally, you can do five generations. Let's go ahead and give these a listen. Okay, let's listen to the second one. So you can hear that it's clearly following that song style. And there was one thing that Suno did that I had forgotten to put in there, which was an introduction. So you can actually go and add an introduction and put in a description of what you want. Say you just want a little guitar riff and one measure of an introduction. You can put those kinds of commands in here. Anyway, that's a little more in depth on Suno prompts. I'm going to have to make a separate video for another prompt that's really special to a particular case. So we'll solve that in the next video. Go ahead and leave me a comment. And let me know if this was helpful to you and if you have any other specific questions about this video or ideas for other videos. Um, that really helps me out a lot. If you have a second, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends. I look forward to reading your comments. I really appreciate your being here and thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you in the next video.